Hello guys, welcome to the Train Parrot. Many people use the RSI to identify areas overbought and areas that are oversold. But what if I told you that RSI has some secret information that you can use in your advantage to forecast what's going to be the top of a pump and what's going to be the bottom of a dump? Many people use Fibonacci retracements to have an idea of where the price can go next. In this video, we're going to look into an indicator called Reverse Engineering RSI. We're going to go back in the past using replay, and we're going to show some examples of how this reverse engineering indicator can help us very accurately project a range where the price can go next. During the video, I will show you two indicators. One is fully available for free, and it's going to allow you to do the full analysis that I'm going to do today. And I'm also going to show you a version of this indicator that I have specially made for the TTP community that does more or less the same as the free version, but it's just adding a few extra things that I thought are necessary for me to be able to take the best advantage of the indicator. We're going to go to the top around April, March of 2021, and we're going to forecast the range where this price is going next around here. There we're going to forecast what's going to be the top price that we're going to see next. Yes, this channel is the trading part, and my main focus are indicators, strategies, pine scripts, and bots in general. The goal of this channel is to find the best strategies and find ways to automate things that we need to do to get the best out of bots. If you resonate with this, you should definitely subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so you get notified every time I find something interesting to share with you. I've been working on this indicator now for a while and I'm very happy to make it available to all the members of TTP. But if you want this indicator to be fully available to absolutely everybody, in the first week of the video being live, if we get to 300 comments, the indicator will be released for free, not only to the members, but for everybody. So go on and leave a comment. We are seeing Bitcoin in the past years, and this, what you're seeing here, is the reverse engineering RSI. But before we get into the replay and to try to forecast bottoms and tops accurately with this indicator, I'm gonna tell you a little bit of what is reverse engineering RSI. Last week, I was thinking it's very difficult sometimes to forecast precisely where the price is gonna go. When we were in July, 2021, I thought eventually there's gonna be a reversal. But apart from Fibonacci retracements, I didn't have any other tool to help me identify what could be the next local top. In this case, an all-time high. I was just purely relying on the Fibonacci retracement. And let me be clear, that's already a great tool. But personally, I love navigating the market, having multiple tools that are confluencing into a single outcome, or at least a range that I can trust a little bit more. We knew that RSI went to 94, and we were at levels between 40 and 50. You might not be able to tell me we were going to top at 69K, but maybe you might be able to tell me we should get a dead cut bounce of the momentum. And it's very common that a dead cut bounce can go to the level of Fibonacci of 05, which is the 50%. So assuming that you're not able to forecast the price, but you are able to forecast a potential reversal for the momentum, and you might be able to say, we're gonna get somewhere halfway through between 94 and 40. So let's say from 70 to 60. Is there a way to say at this point in time, in the past, I am in an RSI of 40. What price can Bitcoin reach if we want to get to an RSI of 70? Is there a way? Yes. If we look at the formula of RSI, it's a very simple formula. And if you are given the price, it shouldn't be really that complicated to reverse the formula so you can get the price given a future value of the RSI. I started Googling ways to get the price for the RSI. I found this page, something called reverse RSI, and it does exactly what I was searching for. Before I found this article, I started creating some spreadsheets that can allow me to calculate the price based on a future level of RSI. But I needed a confirmation. I was sure that someone else has done this before. 
This thing here is called reverse RSI. It allows you to reverse engineer relative strength index values. The indicator was introduced by Georgios Siligardos under the name of Rev Eng RSI in 2003. <laughs> it's been a quite a while. So that shows you as well that whenever you have an idea, it's very likely that many other people had a similar idea. I had my spreadsheets and I already had the formula, but I got really excited when I saw that more people were doing the same and so many years ago. My next step was to search for indicators that could be doing this. And I found reverse engineering RSI by Georgios Siligardos. If you add this to your chart, you're gonna see an indicator. Let's change the color so you can see it better. And I was wondering if this is exactly what I want and it's exactly what I want. If you give a value of RSI of 50, this will tell you in order to get to RSI 50, the price will have to come back down right there. And when you are in this candle and RSI is at that time 40, to get to 50, the price needs to get to 39, which is more or less what happened in the next candles. You can also use extreme values like 90 from any price. If we get an RSI of 90, where will that take me? When we were around here, for example, getting to an RSI of 90 is forecasting to get somewhere there. And more or less it's the same. There is a gap there because we didn't get to 90 exactly there. But if you get to 90 and you cross over the projection of the price, that is also something possible. Notice when you are in a dump in a very low area of RSI, getting to very high levels from levels of 50 or 40 will take the price very high. It's not out of the question to get from here to 300K. That's why people were thinking, yes, it's doable. It is doable, but it will take a lot of volume into the market to be able to push the other side from 40 to 90 back again. And that's why it didn't happen. With this indicator, I found that I already manage to find an answer to my questions. But I really wanted something that can do an extra step. And for that, I created, we could say, an extension of what this indicator does. And this is the indicator. In this indicator, I'm able to put four different levels of RSI. I'm able to select the period of the RSI I want to use. You can use RSI 14, 7, whichever value you like and use your preference of colors. Ideally put numbers that are growing or going down like 70, 50, 30, 20. So the colors don't overlap and doesn't cause a mess in the chart. This is basically the other indicator, just giving you different bands that you can use in your advantage. Let me show you how we can use these bands. I'm gonna go back in time right before dumping in price. And I'm going to use just two bands to forecast that we are going to go to this level first. I'm going to disable these two levels there. I'm just going to use two. I'm going to have to find a number that I think is likely for this RSI to hit next. And for that, I'm going to do just basic, you know, divergence, bearish divergence analysis. I'm seeing here lower highs and I'm seeing lower lows on the RSI. So that to me in a weekly time frame is very strong and it signals that we are about to see here either a local top or a massive dump. Since this run was extremely strong, extremely strong, the likelihood of dumping here and the risk in the market it starts going exponential. So in a situation like this, the likelihood of the RSI reversing back up to those levels on the weekly is lower than continuing the trend and coming and visit new ranges. New ranges could be the range of 40, 50 or the range of 30 to 20. Depends how strong is the dump. I will say in order of likelihood, dropping to 50, between 40 and 50 was the highest likelihood when you were in the range of 90 to 80. It's very rare to see on the weekly that an RSI drops from 90 all the way to 30 or to 20. It can happen, yes. But the most likely move 
on an asset like Bitcoin will be to do it in stages. Therefore, 50 is the most likely next step for an RSI that is losing momentum in this range. Assuming that you believe that we are going to a range between 50 and 40, you can set up those levels here. We're going to go to 50 to 40, and that is going to plot a range. This is price, and therefore I can set some horizontal levels there and say, in order to get us to 40, 50, we need the price to go somewhere between 40 and 25.3. Now we're gonna let the price go and we have reached the range of 50 to 40 and we are already moving sideways between this range. We even touch the lower band and we touch the upper band. We are not closing any candle above or below, showing us that that range is not very far from what's actually happening. So once you get that confidence that we're going to a certain branch of RSI, which is much more realistic to forecast than just to forecast a naked price, you can use this indicator to narrow down the band of the price that is coming next. We're going to use it now to forecast where can we go to the upside. For that, I'm going to stop the replay in the candle right before the pump. So when you're right there and you're thinking we're going lower, Assume that you are bullish and that you think that we might go to higher levels of RSI from here. Of course, if your hypothesis is that we are going lower, like the vast majority of the people during that candle, you will be wrong. But if your thesis is we're going higher and what is the next level of RSI that we can move next? Let's analyze the movements of the RSI within this range. We went all the way down from 95 to around 45. So more or less, we slash that in half. If we were to make a move to the upside and we are bullish, is it realistic to go straight to 95? No, we do it in stages. We don't go straight from 45 to 95 in the next candle on RSI. That's completely unrealistic. But what can happen is that from the levels of 50, we can get to 70 in a few weeks or maybe in a couple of months. And why 70? Assuming that the RSI will experience a dead cut bounce towards 70, not even knowing that we're going to do an all-time high. We just think from here, we went to there in RSI. If I'm bullish, and that is my assumption, I think we could go to RSI 70. Don't think... I already know the all-time high price, but assuming you think we're going to go to 70, we need to now configure our indicator to show us what prices are likely from here. So let's say we think we can go up until 70, and in the worst case scenario, we're at least going to reach 60. This level here, the green one, is if we get to a level 70 on the other side. So I'm gonna use again these levels and this level right here is if we get to an RSI of only 60. So our, our range is between 50 and 71, okay? So if we manage to get to 70, we're gonna get to 71 and something. We know the story, so we can see now what's happening with those prices. We're getting close and there you go, we got to more or less 69K. It was very close to the 71 that came from the forecast right in the candle when we were getting bullish. Before that, the, the target was higher. And why is higher around here and lower? And it starts going lower, even if this candle is more bullish than this one. The reason is because as the price is coming down, it's dragging down as well how high you can get. Of course, if from this candle that is pretty high, it's already 38, you want to reach an RSI of 70, you could get to 80K. But problem is that this was just a dead cut bounce. It didn't allow us to get to RSI of 70. In fact, it was the opposite. The RSI was still cooling down in this period. From this candle, what is saying, the realistic target is 71 and we made it to 69. So it's not perfect, but it narrows down much more what you can get. 
The downside is that you need to be familiar with how RSI works and what behavior has the RSI most commonly. Let's do something really cool. Let's try to forecast what could happen right now if we got to higher levels of RSI from the price we are today, which is 21st of November. We are sitting at 16K and we have experienced pretty much lower highs and lower lows throughout this whole period from beginning of 2021. It's been pretty much a dump of the RSI. Even though we have experienced an all-time high around November, the whole journey has been losing momentum from 28th of December 2020. In my analysis, I'm going to be a little bit bold. This might be completely wrong in the future, but let's do it just for the fun. I'm seeing a bunch of things when I look at this RSI and when I see the recent price action. First of all, I see that we are in a downtrend. I see a potential breakout of the RSI above this trend line of two years, which is bullish. I also see that we are experiencing here a regular bullish divergence in the weekly. These two things, plus seeing this slowdown here, we see a big dump all the way here, all the way there. And most of the people are expecting to see a relatively similar dump of what we already saw before. We are kind of sitting at a time in the market that resonates a lot with what was going on here. I remember we, we saw this move here. We retraced to the Fibonacci level of 50 there. We bounced back up. And when we were here, people said, we're going to have a third leg up. We will have a third leg up and it's going to do something like this. And a lot of people got trapped on that idea, including myself, because at this top, I took half profits of my Bitcoin. I thought to myself, yes, I think it's going to dump, but I'm going to sell only half of my Bitcoin because I don't want to be that guy that was wrong. And then we get the third leg up and I miss those gains. Yes, that's called greed. <laughs> and unfortunately, you know, what happened happened. But internally, I thought, I don't think that the market behaves in that way, that when everybody in YouTube is talking about a third leg up, we are not going to get a third leg up. Either we're going to go sideways or we're going to dump. And I think that resonates a lot with this one leg down, another leg down, and a final, you know, kind of leg down. Yes, it can happen, but what if? What if doesn't? So we're going to do the exercise based on the what if it doesn't happen. Where could we go next? Let's set up TTP reverse RSI with a bunch of targets. Okay, we're going to go from more greedy to less greedy. At the moment, we are on an RSI of 31. So we could say if we get to RSI 90 or if we get to RSI 70 or 50 or 40. Okay, let's have a look at what are those targets looking like. And you're going to be really surprised. From where we are, in order to get to an RSI of 40, we need the price to go to 18 0.5. Okay, that is the first target. That could be a realistic target. It also resonates with this support level there. We could get just to 40 and just get rejected from that level of RSI 40, which is 18.5, and that could get pushed down one more level in the ladder, right? If we get to a level of RSI of 50, that will be a price of 22.8. If we get to an RSI of 70, we will get to 38.5K. In order for us to get to an RSI of 90 from where we are right now, we need the price of Bitcoin to go to 120K. And you can see how that target is coming down the lower we go with Bitcoin. So Bitcoin, the longer it remains in a range, it starts very quickly dumping that requirement of price. So for example, if we go just sideways here, this price will come down and getting to a level of 90 will take us to a lower price. If we need to go very quickly, 
to an RSI of 90, then we need the price to do a massive move. That is precisely what RSI does. It talks about momentum, how much energy you need to get there. I will personally move out of the question to get to an RSI of 90 at the timing we are currently in the market. We are trying to form a bottom. We are not trying to pump to an all-time high right now. That is just for the fun. I will say levels of 40, 50, even slightly above 50 are doable during a bear market, but levels of 90 that I will reserve it for a timing closer to the halving. And at the same time, when the rest of the markets are seeing some green. Remember that Bitcoin is not living in an isolated world. It depends a lot on what's going on with other assets as well. All right, guys, I hope you found interesting how you can use the reverse engineering indicator. If you do, please consider subscribing to the channel, hitting the like, and remember, if you leave a comment and we get on the first week 300 comments, this indicator is going to be released for free to all users, not just TTP members. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.